So I find myself in beautiful Marrakesh right now. We're on production and I thought this would be a great opportunity to share with Henry's audience my travel essentials. Now there's a ton of gear we bring and there's also multiple cameras that are shooting all this thing. But there are some key items, these essentials I call them, that I never travel without. I'm gonna walk through each of them with you today. first essential is this new Think Tank Airport International roller bag. It is like your typical carry-on roller bag, except that it is designed for gear. Your camera gear, your lenses, your hard drives, your laptops, everything you can think of, well, it's designed to fit in this bag here. Now, this is not just something that you'd consider for travel. You could use this for your wedding gig, your photo shoot that you have going on, whatever it may be. It's a fantastic bag. Having used this on a real trip, it proved to be incredibly useful and resourceful and most of all durable this thing is built to last so the first thing on the list is actually this roller bag right here the think tank international airport version 3 in terms of essentials let's start with something that everyone needs and that is SD cards and more specifically more specifically most specifically more specifically, it is UHS-2 SD cards. Now these cards are a bit more expensive, but they are much faster. They'll work with all the modern cameras and they seem to be a lot more reliable. So I slowly upgraded my kit over my trips and productions to UHS-2 cards. They have been proven to be the most reliable type of SD cards that I've found and something that you'll thank yourself later for when you're downloading and offloading all your footage that you're capturing on your next trip. The next item on the list are these Lassie Rugged Drives. I get one of these before every production, especially international, maybe even a couple. And this is just a drive dedicated for all the content that we'll be capturing out here. It allows me to have the peace of mind that I'm not gonna run out of footage because OneDrive is dedicated to this production, but they are incredibly well made. As the name suggests, rugged, and they have proven to be invaluable to my trips, travels, and production. So as you can see from this list, these are essential items that, you know, no matter what camera I'm using or what kind of content we're capturing, they're pretty ubiquitous in what these products have to offer. There's varying sizes that you can pick up. I typically go between four and five terabytes. It really comes back to the size of your production, how much content you're gonna be capturing, and ultimately what you're gonna be using it for. That's the Lassie Rugged Travel Drives. The next item on the list is the GoPro, and more specifically, the GoPro Hero 8. And at the time of recording, we have version 10 available. So 8, 9, 10. I chose the 8 because it offers more than enough features for what I'm capturing. I use this for POV footage when I'm walking around capturing content, but also if I wanna quickly capture a moment or a scene or a time lapse, this GoPro allows me to do that. So you can take a look at what each version has to offer, what's most important to you. Because our work is a lot of walk and talk kind of footage, the GoPro Hero 8 is more than enough. Again, GoPro, check it out. Tons of value in this tiny little camera. The next item I picked up is quite recent, but I've been getting a lot of mileage out of this, and it's the Rode Wireless Go 2, version two. Now, what's unique about these mics, ultimately, is that when you buy them, you have one receiver and two transmitters that you can easily clip onto yourself to a secondary subject and capture great audio. What's also unique is that these receivers and transmitters will record on the device as well. The new receiver also has some fantastic UI upgrades to it, so you can check your levels, check your metering modes, and check your battery life as well. And all in all, it's a fantastic product. If audio is important to your production, if you want to be able to create great vlogs and really easily without too many cables flying around, the Rode Wireless Go 2 is the one to get. Now, especially in a place like Morocco where the sun can get intense, and even at the time of recording at sunrise, it is about to break on my face, an ND filter can help you get the content that you need, and more specifically, the Polar Pro variable ND filters. I have this in different filter sizes, but typically what you'd wanna do is get it in a large size, maybe a 77 or 82 millimeters, and buy the step-up ring so you can use them with multiple lenses in your kit. And well, what does this do? Well, it'll allow you to cut the light that's coming into your camera sensor by two, three, four, or even five stops. Now, if you didn't have something like this, well, maybe you had the situation before. You'd narrow down your aperture to f11 or f16, or maybe increase your shutter speed to 
1 over 2,000 or 1 over 4,000 or force yourself to go into electronic shutter mode and lose some of the advantages of a mechanical shutter. Well, with this ND filter, you have high quality glass that will not degrade your image and allow you to keep your aperture at a rating that you want it to be creatively and keep your camera in a shutter speed that you want to use it for. Ultimately, you have this so you can act more creatively and not make trade-offs based on the light that's rising behind you or in front of you in this instance. And the last item on the list so we can go back and enjoy this beautiful sunrise is the Loop Deck CT. This is a bit newer, but what I've been finding in my travels, I'm already making a sacrifice in screen real estate when I'm quickly editing my image or processing video files. I wanted to be able to edit a little bit more faster, ingest the footage a lot quicker. And the CT allows you to customize this set of dials, buttons, and knobs to whatever application you're using. And really, it's become a lot more useful as I've customized this further. So whether it's Capture One Pro, Lightroom, Premiere, Final Cut, DaVinci Resolve, whatever the creative application that you're using, you can fine tune a bunch of shortcuts, a bunch of techniques, and a bunch of hotkeys to this physical dial pad, allowing you to edit and ingest your footage much, much faster. The more you customize this, the more useful it becomes. Now, there is a bit of a learning curve to this thing, and well, it might not be for everyone, but if you are a practicing professional, if you are in a field where you're constantly ingesting and managing and editing content, this might be something on your short list. It is the Loop Deck CT, and I'm telling you, this might be the secret killer for those traveling professionals. Thank you.